Today we're going to talk about attaching sound to objects in a Smart Notebook 11 file. There's a lot of great instructional benefits to adding sound. It makes your presentation more interesting and sometimes you just need sound to really illustrate a point. So we're going to talk about adding a sound. You can also record your own sound. Sometimes you need to take sound off an object and we'll talk about the different sources that you can use. Let's take a look at a sample file. And I've already got one open here. So I'm going to bring this one up. This one has to do with the Doppler effect. And here's a picture kind of illustrating sound waves. And if I press on this object, you can hear a siren come in illustrating the Doppler effect. So let's take a look at how that is done. So I'm going to go back to my presentation uh, notebook file here. And we're going to add a file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the gallery. And we're going to find us a picture of a cow. So I'm going to bring up my on-screen keyboard. Uh, let's see. Press in my search box here. And I'm going to type in the word cow. I'm going to press enter. And here's my pictures. I've got a few pictures of some cows here. I'm going to bring this one out to my file here. So right now I have an object. It's just a picture of a cow. And I'm going to hit the drop down arrow here. And you'll see at the very bottom above properties the word sound. And this insert sound message box comes up. You can browse on your computer and find a sound. If you have a microphone, you can also record your own sound up to one minute in length. So I'm going to press browse. I'm going to go to a file I already have. And it is the moo sound for a cow. Notice it is an MP3 file. That's the only files you can use to insert sound. Press open. And I can preview the sound. And once I have a sound that I like, I have two options here. I can insert it as a corner icon or the object itself. So I'm going to choose object and I'm going to press attach sound. Now when I press on the object, it's going to play that sound. Now if I want to take a sound off, I simply select my object, do my drop down. Here's my sound. I have an option, option right here that says remove sound. So I can press that. Now when I press my object, the sound is no longer there. So the one thing I did emphasize on this, the type of sound it needs to be is an MP3 file. That's the only sound that you can uh, insert with an object. And an object can be a picture. It can also be text, words, anything that's on your notebook file. And this concludes this lesson on attaching sound to objects in a Smart Notebook 11 file.